In this video, we will explain uh, uh, what is a singular solution. Uh, we will demonstrate this uh, with an example and uh, th that is a solution of a certain uh, differential equation, ordinary differential equation which you cannot get it from uh, the general solution, okay. So, we will give an example. So, simple uh, example is y dash y equal to x plus c whole square. I will give you an idea what is envelope, okay. So, you simply take for, for this, you see what are these? These are simple parabolas parallel to x axis, just touching x axis, okay. This is your x axis like this. Envelope, any envelope is a curve, at, a, at every point it will touch one, one of the parametric, uh, one of the solution curve, okay, one of your solution curve for certain c value. So, you can see these are the things, at any point you can see what is the envelope here, so this is x axis, that is y equal to 0. So, how do I get this? This satisfies, this is the general solution that satisfies the equation, if you actually how do you eliminate? You calculate its y dash, which is 2 times x plus c, okay, y dash is dy by dx. So, that will give me my x, uh, what is my c value. So, that what is my c value? c equal to y dash by 2 x, okay, y dash by 2 x. No. So, this is x plus c equal to y dash by 2, c equal to y dash by 2 minus x. So, this you substitute into the equation, you will get y equal to x plus c that is y dash by 2 whole square. So, this is nothing but you get y dash square equal to 4y. So, if y is this, it satisfies this equation. So, any parametric family of curves, one parametric family of curves, if you eliminate that constant, what you end up is the differential equation like this, okay. So, or alternatively, you, you take this differential equation, you find its solution, okay, because we do not know. So, you, this is clearly you can this you can see uh, dy, what is this one? dy by, so dy by dx, right. So, you have, uh, if you solve this equation, you will get this uh, parametric, this is a general solution, you will get like this. You can see this one, this is one this is uh, phi of, so this is your general solution, one equation and you differentiate this general solution with respect to t, that is with respect to c, that is 2 times x plus c equal to, so y, y you are differentiating with respect to c 0 minus 2 times x plus c and you are differentiating with respect to c that is 1 equal to 0. So, that will give me minus 2 cannot be 0, so x equal to minus c when you put x equal to c equal to minus x inside the equation, first equation. So, you eliminated c. So, what you end up is 0. So, this is exactly your envelope. That is a singular solution, okay. Now, I do not want uh, this trivial solution. If you want, I can give you another example, okay. This is one example. The second example is you take this differential equation. So, y dash square minus 3 x y dash plus 3x square, okay. Do not ask me why, okay. So, this has, this is a ODE which is nonlinear, which has a solution, which has a general solution, y of x equal to some constant x plus c square plus x square, okay. So, you have a general solution here, you have a general solution here. How do you know that this is a general solution? It has a parameter 1, one parameter c, okay, one arbitrary constant. So, it is a general solution. You substitute into the equation and see, verify it, it satisfies. So, this is a general solution, right. Because you do not know any method how to solve. Now, how do you say that so if I say you have this equation has a solution, you just you can only simply substitute and see, okay. So, you substitute and see, it satisfies. So, this is the solution of the equation general solution of the equation. So, if I want a singular solution, I have to calculate this is one equation like phi x y c equal to 0, this is what and I calculate its uh, derivative with respect to c that is x plus 2 c equal to 0, okay. So, that gives me c equal to minus x by 2. So, you substitute, go and substitute what you end up is 3 
3 by 4 x square. You put this c equal to minus x by 2 into the solution, general solution c. So that means you eliminated c. How did I get this one? x plus 2 c y minus c x minus c square plus x square that I differentiated with respect to c. This is what is the result. Okay. So you end up finally once you get this c, c you substitute into this what you end up is this one. This is this you cannot get it from any c value. You put any c value you cannot get 3 by 4 x square. Whatever you put c value if you put 0 x square only you get. So you cannot get this solution out of this general solution. Okay. So that is why it is called singular solution. Anyway in this course we do not deal with the singular solutions you can learn uh, any, any reference books which I cited in the syllabus okay, if you are interested. So you can always get certain always solutions you can always say. So for example if I, if you have uh, solution curves envelopes here this is the parabola all these solution curves if you draw their envelope is actually parabola here like 3 by 4 x square y equal to 3 by 4 x square is a parabola. So envelope generated by these solution curves on parameter family of solution curves is that is a singular solution. Okay. Now let us give the we do not deal with the singular solutions we only want general solution where I gave you already a method of solution oh, one method of solution solving uh, first order ordinary differential equation by that is called separation of variables method. So I will give you an example so we will solve uh, one first order ODE. 1 by x dx plus 1 by y times 1 minus y dy equal to 0. Whenever you write this, now this is your first order differential, ordinary differential equation. So you see that x is uh, at x equal to 0, this function is not defined 1 by x. So your domain, if at all you have this equation, x equal to 0 is not part of the domain. And all those values, once you get a solution yx, Okay, you have a solution y x. If it takes the value zero or one for those values of x, so that is also not in your domain. Okay, so that means y is not equal to zero. Y should not be equal to one. If you actually see the domain graphically, so this is your x. This is your y. X equal to zero is y axis. Okay, y equal to zero is x axis y equal to 1 is this one. So you should have domain either here or here or here or here here. Okay. So you should be, you can have your domain. So you can say your equation is defined either here or here or here, not, not uh, in this full, full domain. Okay. You cannot take uh, discontinuous domains. So say my equation is valid here and here. So you take it here and you solve it. So that solution is valid only here. If you want solution here, you would consider your domain this as this one that you take it and solve it. Okay? So that is how it is. So, so how do we solve this? This is, is already separated, variables are separated. Okay? So all the variables are separated, you can simply integrate 1 by x dx plus 1 by y times 1 minus y dy equal to constant by integ after integration okay if we integrate the equation we get this is what we get where c is arbitrary constant so if you know how to evaluate this we are through so this will be log x log mod x okay let's say we are only with uh, for simplicity you are in the domain x positive and y is actually between 0 and 1 okay, in this domain. So I do not need to write x is positive so a log function is defined so I will simply write a log x plus this one this integrand I can write 1 by y minus or plus I will see 1 minus y minus y so it should be plus <coughs> 1 by y plus 1 by 1 minus y is actually 1 by y times 1 minus y. So this you integrate dy dy equal to c. So this will give me log x plus log y minus log 1 minus y. If y is between equal to c, 
if y is less than 1, positive and less than 1. So, x is positive. In this domain, I do not have to take integral 1 by x dx as log mod x. Okay. So, this will give me simply, I am doing this for simplification. So, log x y calculations will be easier. So, that is how only you have to do. So, you have to, so if when you consider in this domain, I am considering in this domain. So, this is what it is. So, log x y minus log 1 minus y equal to c that implies log x y by 1 minus y equal to c. So, this implies x y by 1 minus y equal to e power c, which is an arbitrary constant. If c is an arbitrary constant, c 1 is also an arbitrary constant that will give me x y equal to 1 minus y times c 1 that is c 1 minus c 1 y that will give me y common you bring it uh, this side this term if you bring it the other side left hand side y is common. So, you have c 1 plus x equal to c 1. So, that will determine my y y equal to c 1 divided by c 1 plus x. So, this is your general solution of the given equation in the domain x positive and y is between 0 to 1. Okay. This is how you solve this uh, equation which is already separated, separable form, nice separable form you have. What is this, uh, where is this, uh, it is uh, it's not in, uh, it is already separated form is given. Okay. I can give you equivalently like this, this equation I can give you the equation, given equation is actually if you write dy by dx equal to, so you take this other side dy by dx equal to divide by x minus y times 1 minus y. So, if I if you are given an equation like this, okay, so this you can rewrite like this and then which is already in separated form okay, and then you integrate simply integrate you can get your solution. Okay. So, next method is if we f of x y is uh, having certain new form, let us say let us define what is called a homogeneous uh, functions. So, let uh, f of y dash or dy by dx equal to f of x y. be the differential equation if f of x y is a function is a homogeneous function. That means what? Then we can solve this equation solve the body by some means. How do we do this? First of all, before we solving this equation, so we should understand what is the meaning of homogeneous function. So, the definition of homogeneous function is f of x y is homogeneous said to be homogeneous. homogeneous function is the definition. If you take any constant, you multiply with the both variables x and k, some k x, k y, I replace x y by k x and k y, then it will have some k power, some constant let us say L k power L f of x comma y. Homogeneous function if if you get like this for some L. L is called a degree. So, you say that f of x y is homogeneous function of degree L if you have this, 
this is satisfied for every x y in r nothing is given means the full real numbers. So, if you have a such a homogeneous function, so what is the meaning of this? For example, these are, uh, these are not uh, aliens, you can have f of x y, this means you can see that x plus y divided by x minus y, are they? So, you can have these are the, these are the, ho this is the homogeneous function of degree 0 because whenever I replace k here, k here, k here, k here, k cancels finally k power 0. Okay. So, this is the one. So, this is homogeneous 0 degree because f of k x k y is equal to k x plus k y k x minus k y which is equal to again f of x y. So, that means you have k power 0 that is 1 f of x y. So, it is a degree of this true for every x y. So, it is a homogeneous of degree 0. So, you can have if you make it square 0 or 1 degree it will become homogeneous of degree 1 homogeneous function of degree 1. Okay. So, if you do this you simply replace with uh, square numerator with square. So, you will have a k comes out. So, you will have k power 1. So, you have a homogeneous function of degree 1. So, you have so, so these are common. So, you may get uh, functions like this. This thing, these kind of functions whenever you have in your ordinary differential equation of first order, you can convert this into earlier type. Okay. So, let us see how we do this. So, what we do is a general method is if, uh, if you choose y by x, you try to write function of f of x y, f of x y you try to write it as, as functions of function of y by x, function of 1 x you take it out you write y by x in this form. So, it is a different uh, you, you try to write so that means I will say uh, you, you define a new you convert this function into new variable let y by x y equal to some v x where v is v is a function of x because y is a function of x v is a new variable that is also should be a function of x. Okay. So, then dy by dx equal to v plus x into dv by dx this is equal to f of x y. So, if you can write f of x y as uh, some function of y by x which is g of v this we can. So, this implies I can see that this is the one this is the equation this is this becomes a uh, given differential equation becomes v plus x into dv by dx into equal to g of v that implies dv by dx equal to g of v minus v divided by x. You can see that variables are separated. Now, the new variable is v, x is the independent variable. So, you can see this is a like earlier type separated variables. So, this you can solve by earlier method. So, that means any whenever you have a function f of x y which is homogeneous function by this transformation you can solve this, you can convert this into, you can reduce this into uh, ordinary differential equation with the right hand side f of x y variables are separated for which variables are separated. Okay. So, and then we can proceed the same way how to solve this. So, you know how to solve this equation. Once you solve this you can replace with v with y by x that means that will give you the actual solution y of x. Let us do some example example of one problem, so you will understand. So, 
to solve y dash that is dy by dx equal to x square plus xy plus y square by x square. So again you see this, this is an equation where 1 by x square is there. So that means it should not be 0. So you should have at any domain, this can be a differential equation, it is defined in some domain where x equal to 0 is not part of that domain, should not be part of it, okay. x equal to 0 should not be part of the domain in which this differential equation is defined. So you can see this right hand side, all are squares, this is square, square, squares. So you have squares. So you can expect this is the homogeneous function of degree 0. You can easily see put k, x equal to kx will become k square, here x equal to kx, y equal to kx, you can have a k square comes out, you have y equal to kx, you have another k square. So finally out of all the three terms k square comes out here and the denominator also you have a k square when you replace x by kx. So k square, k square goes, it is same as the itself with k power 0. That means it is a homogeneous function of degrees 0. So we use the transformation use the transformation y equal to vx where v is functions of x, y is the dependent variable now is v is the new dependent variable, okay. So you can replace dy by dx which you can calculate from this transformation which is v plus x into dv by dx, this is what is your dy by dx is equal to, now you can take x square out, if you take x square out, 1 plus y by x plus y by y square by x square, that is the numerator and you have x square as it is. So you have, you cancel this, that will become 1 plus v which is coming from the transformation, y by x is v plus v square. Okay. So this implies, now you take this left hand side and right hand side, you can write x dv by dx equal to 1 plus v square, because y we cancel both sides, you can have 1 plus v square. Now the variables are separated, you can rewrite one side all the v variables, other side only x variables. So this implies, now you can integrate both sides integration will give you equal to dx by x plus c is an arbitrary constant. So this is actually your general solution see, because you can integrate, you know how to integrate this, this is actually tan inverse v equal to log x plus c. So this is your general solution that means v equal to tan c plus log x, okay. So that implies v is y by x. So you have y by x equal to tan c plus log x, that implies y equal to x tan c plus log x. This is what is your general solution of the given differential equation. Yeah. Of course, when I write, when I integrate integral dx by x, I write log x. That means is defined. What is the log x? Log x is defined only for x positive. So, so this is when you write like this, that means I am only doing it for x positive. You should actually write mod x, log mod x. Then it works for all x. Okay, including. Anyway, 0 is not defined, so anything even if x is negative, positive, does not matter, so that then this is true for every. So integral dx by x is log mod x, okay. So this is your general solution, y is a dependent variable, so it should be a function of x as you can see, c is you have an arbitrary constant, c is an arbitrary constant. where c is an arbitrary constant is the general solution, ok. 
okay so we'll do one more problem so whenever you have uh, this homogeneous function so dy by dx equal to f of xy where f of xy is a homogeneous function of certain degree you can solve this differential equation certain equations though they are not homogeneous functions but they are they, they, they are look like homogeneous functions but with constants so you can actually make them homogeneous certain functions okay so you can reduce certain f f of x y is not homogeneous but close to it close to the form of f of x y is close to homogeneous function so for example those functions when f of x is such a function we can actually reduce this equation into homogeneous uh, an ordinary differential equation with the right hand side dy by dx equal to with the homogeneous function you can reduce into a homogeneous equation homogeneous equation okay so equations these are the equations such an equations are equations that can be reduced or reducible to equation reducible to reducible equation reducible to homogeneous type simple simple let us take a1 x plus b1 y plus c1 by a2 x plus b2 y plus c2 so if you are having this type of function you can reduce this into homogeneous step so right hand side is not an homogeneous function you can make it by simply translating these variables x and y translate x y variables as x equal to some new variable plus h i introduced a new variable x plus h okay i write y as capital y plus some k so these are the variables these are the x and y are variables h and k you choose h and k in such a way that when you substitute this small x y into this it will become homogeneous function you simply just take this as a transformation you substitute into the right hand side you will have a1 x equal to x plus h plus b1 y plus k plus c1 divided by a2 x plus h plus b2 y plus k plus c2 this is equal to a1 x plus b1 y plus some constant that is a1 h plus b1 k plus c1 divided by a2 x plus b2 y i take it from here here so the remaining is a2 h plus b2 k plus c2 so if i choose my hk values in such a way that see a1 b1 c1 a2 b2 c2 they are given they are known they are known constants if i can choose my h and k some numbers satisfying this so i can make this zero if i choose my h and k such that these two are zero then this function what remains is in terms of these new variables x and y it is homogeneous okay so right hand side is a new function of x y this is what so it has to be right hand left hand side is also should be same right so what is dy by dx you can see that from this you can write dx equal to because h is constant d capital x dy equal to d capital y so this means dy by dx 
equal to d capital Y by d capital X, both are same, right. So, I can replace this dy by dx with capital dy by dx. Right hand side, I have chosen my hk so that this, this is 0, this is 0, whatever in the brackets. So, what you what is left with is a1x plus b1y by a2x plus b2y. Now, this is an equation with right hand side is having a function that is homogeneous function. So, you know the method how to solve the ho equation with homogeneous right hand side homogeneous function f of x y. Once you solve this you can replace finally. So, you, what you get is the solution as some function of capital x y c equal to 0 where c is arbitrary constant. Once you apply the method to solve this homogeneous equation this is how you will get a solution general solution of this equation for some g. You replace this x y with this from this transformation capital X you replace with x minus h small x minus h you ultimately h is known h you have chosen in such a way that this is 0 ok and y you can replace y minus k and c equal to 0. So, you can see that x y are your actual variables actual variables here small x y h and k are fixed constants because that is how you fix them so that this is 0 these are the two equations linear equations in h k which you can solve it ok. So, if you want to have the solution, so first there is a question, you should have a solution. When do you have a solution? When do you have a unique solution for this h k for these two equations? This is equal to 0 and this is equal to 0. So, you should have, so we will see that ok. So, this is how you get the solution. Whenever you have a unique solution h k, so that this e equation is 0 and this equation is 0. So, you can have this transformation that reduces the given equation into this homogeneous type that can be solved to get this solution general solution which in the old variables is this finally, this is the form ok. So, in this video we have explained a few methods uh, to solve the first order ordinary differential equation starting with the simpler one uh, where the variables are separated it is called separation of variables method and when the when the function y dash equal to f of x y when the f of x y is a homogeneous function and uh, we have explained uh, the method to solve the differential equation and uh, some, some simpler form of uh, non homogeneous equation which can be reduced to homogeneous type. So, uh, so as uh, and then we uh, integrated using the homogeneous technique homogeneous uh, just the technique that is used to solve the homogeneous equations ok. So, that is it.